Hey everyone, this is a quick lesson on how to find second derivatives and higher derivatives. This is just kind of an intro to the basics. So let's just jump right into it. So how do you find a second derivative? Well, you just take the derivative of your first derivative. That's it, you just take another derivative. So you've got your f prime or your y prime or your dy dx, whatever. You have that function, then you take the derivative again. Nothing special about it. Now, there is some special notation for second derivatives, so I do want to show you that. So we have these symbols here, which we would pronounce as double primes. So you've got f prime and y prime, and now you've got f double prime and y double prime. That's what denotes a second derivative. And then next, so we've had this dy dx notation. This is the way that you say this. You'd say d squared y dx squared. So it doesn't roll off the tongue quite as easily as dy dx, but you get the idea. And then kind of adjacent to this notation, so we also have all of these signs. These also mean the second derivative. So I highly recommend that you just write these down just so you have a better chance of kind of retaining them. And now we can move on. How do you find and notate higher derivatives? Well, you just keep taking derivatives. There's really nothing special about it. So this, what would this mean? This is y triple prime. This would mean the third derivative. And like I said, you say y triple prime. And then you might be thinking, oh my gosh, what if I don't know what comes after triple or quadruple or quintuple or and so on and so forth? So don't worry, after the third derivative, then we just start writing this and we just plug in a number here. So four, five, six, 100, however many derivatives you want, you just plug those in here. And that's what's gonna indicate the nth derivative. You also have this notation here that also represents some of the higher derivatives. So feel free to pause if you need to write any of that down. Okay. So let's go ahead and just practice this real quick. So what I wanna do is show you two examples where we're gonna work on taking the fourth derivatives. So I'm starting here with y equals x to the seventh minus five x cubed plus two x. So taking the first derivative, this would be seven x to the sixth minus 15 x squared plus two. So moving on to y double prime. So now I take the derivative of seven x to the sixth, which will be 42x to the fifth, and then I keep going, so this will be minus 30x, and then the two drops out, and then I've got y triple prime, so this will be 210x to the fourth minus 30, and then for the fourth derivative, this will be 840x cubed, and then that's it, you're done. Highly recommend that you pause the video here and just try to take this derivative, and again, you're trying to get to the fourth derivative here, highly recommend you just pause and do that on your own and then hit play when you're ready. So for the first derivative, this is gonna be e to the x minus 14x plus three x squared. F double prime is gonna be e to the x minus 14 plus 6x. F triple prime is e to the x plus 6x. And then the fourth derivative, I always mess that up when I write that down. This one's gonna be just e to the x. Oops, I got my third derivative wrong, didn't I? That should have been, uh, sorry, this should have been e to the x plus 6. And then this last one is just gonna be e to the x. Okay. And so there you have it. So it's just you just keep taking derivatives. There's really nothing special about it. So this is just a really quick explanation video of that idea. Hopefully it was helpful. If you have other questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. I'll talk to you guys next time.